can you tell me about the stages women go through um, with estrogen and you know, how that affects their body while they're going through their menstrual cycle? Well, the first understanding is that once the young girl starts the process that's going to lead to her first ever menstrual flow, say at age 11 or 12, she might be starting at age eight or nine. Once that process starts, her ovaries have cells that make estrogen. By the way, the estrogen is made from cholesterol. So you need cholesterol in order to make all of these hormones, thyroid hormone, estrogens, testosterone, and all of the hormones starts with, everything starts with cholesterol. Now, what I'm getting at is all through a woman's life, so a young woman, an adolescent, a teenager, a young adult, all through the reproductive years, a woman's body is making the most important of the estrogens, which is called estradiol. We use the symbol E2 in medicine for that. Every single day of her life. It's that, that particular hormone is responsible for hundreds of different actions in her body. Everywhere from her bone to her skin to her sexual function to her arteries. It works everywhere. Your hair follicles have hormone receptors for estradiol that helps maintain your hair. Um, the pressure in your eyes is controlled by your, is helped to be under control by your estradiol level. Now, in a menstrual cycle, what happens is a period begins. And when it starts, that's pretty much the low point in the month for your estradiol level, and the level is about 50. And then after about five days, it starts to increase because the number of cells in the ovary increase that make it. And it peaks about a week later, so around 12 days from the beginning of the period, goes all the way up to a level of 400. And it drops, and an egg is released in response to that drop, so it's critical. And then it comes back up, stays up at around 200, and then it drops off and back down to 50, and the next period comes on. That happens regularly. That's a healthy cycle, estradiol every single day. However, women will react when there's a drop in that estrogen level. In the middle, around day 12 to 14, when they're releasing an egg, and at the end, when they're dropping down to start the next period. The most common reaction is migraines. 70% of all women have migraine headaches at some time in their reproductive years, and they're all occurring with the drop in estrogen. Occasionally, you can see women actually have severe chest pain at mid-cycle or onset of their period, and it's their coronary arteries reacting to the drop in estrogen. Now, none of these are life-threatening or dangerous, but they do reflect how fine a line a woman's body can walk with respect to her estradiol level. It really plays a role all over the body in many different actions. When the woman comes to the time of the menopause, then the estrogen levels are down below that lowest level and that's why she has all those symptoms we talked about. Now, there are other women, there are particular women who have a chronically low estradiol level throughout their lives. Unfortunately, they are the women we think of as the healthiest, the athletes. You see the lowest levels in ballerinas who become very small, have no fatty tissue, and actually stop having periods. That's not uncommon. You also see it, of course, with anorexia, where typically young women are not eating enough, there's not enough cholesterol to make enough hormone. I actually have studied male runners, because remember, cholesterol is in a man's body, also making estradiol and testosterone. We men have estrogen levels, 
our average level is around 50. So it's not very different from when a woman is starting her period. That's the male estradiol. We don't drop our levels as men until we're in our 60s, and then we get hot flashes and sleep disturbance and fatigue, all the same problems. So it's something to know about. Like it's important to know about thyroid hormone. It's important to know about insulin. It's important to know about cortisol. All of these things are made in your body, and together they make a healthy body. But keeping it in balance is important. I have worked with women athletes, women who are dancers, ballerinas, and help them by actually giving them, even though they could be 15 years old or 16 years old, estradiol, I've used skin patches for those women, just so they're not losing bone and their arteries are not deteriorating and they're not getting into trouble. So in fact, it's something you can think about all through a woman's life. Now we skipped probably the most common problem. So we might have another segment okay. that says, is there any other